I'm terrible at this thing. Okay. Um, can I think about it and come back? Um, happy anniversary, uh, Steve and Teresa. Congratulations on such a long and beautiful marriage. Um, I love spending Christmases with you all. Um, that's one of my favorite childhood memories we've all together. So, congratulations. Congratulations, Steve and Teresa. I can remember being at your wedding, and I wrote it in your card. It's the first wedding, and I'm sad that I cried at. Aww. I'm going to miss Teresa so much. I did it on both the notes. My favorite memory is Christmas at your house. <laughs> One of my best memories is at your house. And I wish you a very happy year. Congratulations on your birthday. Happy anniversary. I'd just like to say that I have been a part of this marriage for almost all of 50 years. Uh, except for a few months. So I feel like I've been a big part of this. And my favorite memory would be that the entry says, It's amazing that you made it 50 years. Uh, congratulations. You did it. Uh, Steve, I'll never forget you sitting in the Lazy Boy in your robe with no underwear on. And Teresa, you always made great breakfasts. So, uh, congratulations. And here's to 50 more. Happy anniversary, Steve. I love everything about you. You're so giving and loving, and you nurtured me my whole life. You taught me to dance. You taught me to kiss, and I love you more than life. And Teresa, you couldn't have had a better person than you. I love you too. You're more like a sister than a sister-in-law, and I need to stop that day talk because I get way too sweet. Congratulations, Steve and Teresa. Happy anniversary. Love you guys too. I started out with Steve when I was in kindergarten. You know, we started in kindergarten we all went through high school together. I carried him on my back the whole time to school. On the basketball court, he shot the basketball all the time. We had to ice his arm down because he shot the ball. Every once in a while, I get a chance to shoot the ball. There's a lot of memories about Steve. Some I can share and some I can't. Have. The one I really like to share is not the motel in Florida, but he wouldn't want me to tell the details. We've just been great friends and made a lot of special memories and they're just very special people to us. My favorite memory of Steve, I guess is it always be a memory of what Teresa stuck with him. Uh, after I found out she was going to the airport yesterday, I didn't know to pick up you all, but I said, Steve, she's finally getting on the plane and leaving. So, but my favorite memory is down in Florida uh, in 1968. We went to the beach down there. It's two, two sisters that we met. And I won't go further than that. Stephen bears with me with this one young lady. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. I love you, Stephen, Teresa. You know that. I love your mother in law, Steve. She's a good woman. <laughs> Listen to her. Don't pick on her anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Congratulations, Steve and Teresa. We're very happy for you. I multiplied 50 times 365. I can't believe those days and nights that she grew up with you, Steve. I'm really glad that the Simpson family finally put having their grieving period and accepted your apologies. Congratulations, we're happy for you. I'm very proud of you. And God bless you. Here's a hand. May they outnumber ours. We're actually more like sisters than cousins. And I was actually at her house, her mother's house, on she was preparing for the first day in And she was a nervous wreck. Sorry, Teresa, they told me I had to tell the story. And she was brushing her teeth, she got she started gagging and got choked. But I was trying to calm her down and we were trying to get her dressed for her first day to stay. Hey mom and dad, happy anniversary. We're glad we could do this for you guys. A lot of it was her. No, she did a great job. But anyway, I just want to say that we love you. And happy so 50th. Much. What a momentous occasion. <laughs> Favorite memory is really just you all being my parents, being supportive, always being there, and I love you all very much. And I, I want to wish you all the most happiest anniversary, and thank you so much for showing this guy.
what it is to have a happy marriage because he brings it home every day. Wow, thank you. Favorite memory of with Steve was when I got married to Sam. He and he, Steve and my brothers threw Sam in the pool right after we got married. Love about Steve. He'd be there for you in a heartbeat if you needed it. And Teresa would too, and she was just a sweetheart. And so I'm very glad to have them part of my life. <laughs> I guess what I remember about Steve when we lived on Linwall in Lexington, I came home one night from, uh, from work and he was coming down the steps in my house with a, I guess he just had on a towel, he just had taken a shower and my wife was there. So that kind of got my attention. <laughs> I was coaching a t-ball team and I asked Steve to be my assistant coach and I want him to understand why I did that. I didn't his coaching ability wasn't that great, but I needed his two sons, Anthony and Timothy, because they were pretty good ball players, and I wanted them on my team. So, Steve, that's the only reason that I ask you to be my assistant coach, to get them on my team. <laughs> Hi. Is it recording? Yeah. We're here for the cake. Steven. See you, John. Teresa and Steve, we're living in Lexington. And I was nine months pregnant, and the baby was due that day. Um, well, Steve was going to take me to the hospital. So we get up by St. Joseph, and there's a train coming across, and, he's, and I'm going, oh. No, he said, oh, why well, do we have to have a train now? Oh, why well, do I think he thought I was going to deliver right there in the car. <laughs> that was one time he was scared. One memory I have of it is uh, we went with Steve and Teresa to Hilton Head one year, and that's usually about a 10 hour drive, maybe 11. Steve's the only person I know that can drag it out for about 14. I, I've always enjoyed letting Steve beat me once or twice on golf because it's more fun if you let him beat you one time, and then later on when you come back and beat him, it just crushes his ego. I have a lot of good memories with Steve and Teresa, but I'm thinking Teresa's my coffee drinking buddy and Steve's my ice cream eating buddy because we have never ever gone out to eat with them that we haven't stopped and got ice cream on the way home. And they know how much I love them. Oh, Steve, always pay attention to what Teresa tells you because that's what we're going to do. Oh, Teresa, she came to visit one summer with all the little kids. She had on this little one piece, little short romper thing, tall boy she could be. So she was out with our brother, out with my body to the bar or whatever. Anyway, there was these little slippery cow pals. She didn't miss one. <laughs> she did it. Slid down. She was pretty green. <laughs> She lived in town for country. <laughs> we see each other every day. Uh, I was in a wedding. It's pretty rustic, you know. And he was really mad because mine was really fast. I taught my brother Steve how to play real good basketball. If it wasn't for Paul, he would never have got received the scholarship. Right? So always count on your brother and sister. They're good people. They're good kind people. I'm really proud to be a part of them and the family. The fact that they tolerated each other for 50 years is okay. I don't know. Missy went with them on their honeymoon. I did. I did. When they got married, I was in the back seat. Are you on? I was in the back seat of the car. My cousin Kathy and I, and we're underneath all the the, the blankets in the back seat. And we're going down the interstate. They're talking about it. And all of a sudden, we popped up. He goes, I hope like you. You got to wait. I'm not taking you on. They dropped us off the car. In. I can tell you right now, the cutest was Steve. The most handsome was Paul. The prettiest was Beth. 
But I was just a little sister. We, we all. There wasn't a lot of rivalry between us. We we we, 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 we were we, we, hang, we would hang together. We think we're we did. all really good working. Uh, I'm not very good looking, but I'm pretty smart. But my brother, my brother Steve did pickle me a lot. You know, he did. He really did. He would set me up to get in trouble, but then he'd sit on her and make a meal. Well, actually, he would fart and sit on our heads. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, he did. He farted and sat on my head. I'm like, I'm telling mom, and said mom would never play it. Steve was mom's favorite. What advice do you have for Teresa? <laughs> no, my advice for Teresa is to keep on doing things the way she's been doing them because she's doing a damn fine job. She is. I don't know how she does it. I really don't. Teresa's more like a sister. Because they can put up with each other and they've done it for 50 years and I think that it means a lot when somebody is willing to stay with the same place for 50 years. I've heard twice and didn't get nowhere near that. I don't know that I can live with somebody for 50 years. My cat was the longest in 19. They're each special by themselves but together I think they're they work, obviously. They fit. I don't know. I give Steve such a hard time because he is like a bigger cornball than my husband. Well, Teresa and I have a lot in common because we both love old things. That's why we're with Paul and, and Steve. <laughs> I admire how she can just absolutely work at this space. That it's like she's not putting out any effort, but things are getting done, and I'm so envious of that. I always try to remember that. Anytime you go to their house, they're always so gracious and so inviting, and they're just, you know, they're family. And I'm lucky to be in this family. I mean, Paul's the best thing that ever happened to me, and I got a wonderful family. It's hard to get together, and but just knowing that you know they're there, you know that you know you get support. Uh, I knew him since he was born because I lived next door to his aunt, and uh, she was keeping Teresa one day and Steve. And I went over to pick up Teresa, and they were in the kitchen. She had Steve on one potty and Teresa on the other potty. So I've named him, known him since potty days, and he hadn't changed a bit. <laughs> This is Teresa's second mother. Oh, Teresa's my sister. Yeah. I'm her second mom. And when she got married, I cried all night. I thought she would get married and come back home, but she didn't. <laughs> She came in out of Teresa's one day. She had this cute little basket. And uh, I said, Oh, you brought me a basket? She said, No, I brought this to Teresa's. <laughs> then my other sister, she went up to Betty's. And Betty says, She made some little crocheted angels. She said, Take this angel and give it to Francis. She said, She don't need any more angels. I'll take it to Teresa. Well, I liked it because I got a hug every time I was around him. <laughs> and he's still giving me a hug. Aww. One day we were in uh, one of the little restaurants. I was, Steve came in and sat down with me. And he said, we won't tell nobody about our affair, will we? I said, I won't. <laughs> My lips are sealed. <laughs> <laughs> so he can hug me down, that's all right. He came over to ask him. But Dennis uh, was playing a new song he'd heard. And he said he couldn't get Dennis out of the room to talk to me and Frank and ask for her pain. So then later, Teresa told me, she said, uh, I was wanting her to do something. And she said, well, I will do it, Mom, but we're planning on getting married. And I said, well, one semester in college is not going to help you much. So just get to your gotten job, go to work, and save your money. That's what you'll have to do. So she did. Then they got married. But uh, he's been a blessing to me and Frank, though, ever since he's been in the family. So I think we'll keep him. <laughs> Maybe another 50 years. After that, he's on his own. Mom.
mom and dad. Um, we're so happy to uh, have had this day with you guys, and and uh, that, that these these two beautiful uh, grand son and daughters could be here as well. And um, we we wish you many more years of happiness. And I was trying to think back to my favorite memory uh, uh, being your son. But there's there's many. So. <laughs> Maybe Anne Margaret can interject while I think upon that. Thank you guys so much for being just a beautiful example of commitment these last 50 years. And I've known you guys for about 14 and been married to this son of yours for 12. And uh, it's just been so beautiful to know that my parents have been married almost 54 years and you've been married 50 years now. That we both have an incredible example of uh, commitment for us as a married couple. So thank you so much for everything you've done to make this beautiful human being uh, as wonderful as he is at this point in his life. And uh, we're just so grateful for you and, and for our relationship <laughs> with you. <laughs> yeah, and I think, I, I think my, my favorite memory, memories were just the times that we spent together during holidays. You always made yes. sure to make holidays special and nice and and um, there's just a lot of great memories from any holiday where there's Christmas or Halloween or uh, or Thanksgiving so, so thanks for thank you for that and there's one more thing what's that um, is that you Jonathan <laughs> wow thanks I think I got that from the Simpson side so thanks mom and, and thank you for always providing us with so many good laughs, Steve. You crack us up all the time, and, St and Teresa, you just you provide <laughs> so much inspiration with how to put up with these crazy wood men. <laughs> and also, tell us. <laughs> and also, we love you very much because you give us all the hugs and kisses we need. Yes, so Aww. many hugs and kisses. Thank you so much. Okay. First of all, I just want to thank everyone for coming out and being part of this really special occasion. It's so great to see people here. We're so we're so uh, overwhelmed by the turnout. So 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 wonderful. He uh, paid us a lot of money. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Teresa. To take a moment to uh, acknowledge the special uh, couple here that's been influential and instrumental in our lives and has uh, we just been blessed with such great parents. Wow, it's hard to follow that. Uh, ditto, in a way, I want to uh, thank Mom and Dad for everything they've done for us. You all mean so much to us. We love you. Oh, this is a very momentous occasion. Yeah, I'm glad that everyone could show up for this. Thanks to the body. Thank you all. Love you. 50 more years.
kindness and her uh, loyalty and her cooking. <laughs> She's a beautiful person. Well, in high school together, we had good times together. He was a basketball player, I was a cheerleader. We just loved to do things together. We had the same interests. And uh, we loved taking trips together. I just love her so much, you know. I really do. She's just so loving and she's just a kind of I believe mean, she's the kindest woman I've ever met. I mean that sincerely. And she doesn't talk bad about me. A lot of patience. <laughs> Give and take, uh, cooperation, and determination, and a lot of love. Just respect each other, be able to care with each other, and just try to work things out. You, you always have a few bumps on the way. You're going to. You have a little fight here, a little fight. We always worked it out. We do have a strong relationship. I guess because we've known each other for so long. We knew each other in grade school, you know, high school. And then we got married when he was a uh, sophomore in college. And uh, we just grown together. I just guess we love each other so much. And I really, I don't ever go in the kitchen. Well, she's in there. Always pinch her in the ass. And she likes it. Surfing the Dairy Queen, and I thought she was proper and prim, and I never, I just never thought anything bad about her. And we hit a speed bump, and she farted, embarrassed her to death, and I felt bad for her. She, <laughs> that's a true story. He has a lot of accidents. He's accident prone. <laughs> and I'm always having to help him now, you know, if he has an accident or something. Yeah. <laughs> nice trip to Hawaii. We kind of reconnected even more. It was really nice. We were walking down the street holding hands and holding each other. And it was pretty cool. I, she still is attracted to me and I don't know why. I'm a fat slob. <laughs> but she still thinks I, she still says I turn her on. I think, I hope she's telling the truth. But she still turns me on. She takes good care of herself. She works out. Some people say, I wish I had a wife like yours. I've had that told to me. But I said, you can't have her. <laughs> That's what I like best. Sweets and stuff. And she said, chocolate cake. But the truth is, it's chocolate chip cookies. Without a doubt, I've always said that, chocolate chip cookies. And I couldn't believe it. I was so mad at her. Anybody else. And I'll tell you the truth, I don't want to do that. She always says that I'm marrying in. I see where it's a map to her, but I, I, I'm not saying it would, but I'm not so sure I would. I know one thing, I would never find anybody as great as she is. I don't know. I'm going live for a fact. She's something else. And I like the way she loves my boys. <laughs> Tim and Anthony. <laughs> take trips like to Gatlinburg and then we live in Texas we took trips out west we had great times together the boys really enjoyed that and going down the coastline California it was a lot of fun the best times I had was when I come home to work of course they were like two years old and they could beat me at the door so daddy was wrestling and we go in this room we didn't have any furniture and we wrestled about 35 40 minutes they pinned me Get me down, you know. It was great. Great memories. Great memories. They, they were something else. And then I, I really enjoyed hosting a basketball in Texas. We went undefeated. They had nothing to do with that. They were a joy to coach. 
kiss us and they love us. It's great. I always wanted a dog. I feel like I got one. Six. She looks up to me and says, Mom, Mom, I love you so much. She's done that to me several times. You gotta be safe, Adrian. And JJ does the same thing. wedding anniversary. That's right. We love you so much. We love you so much. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Love you guys. <laughs> They're laughing. <laughs> 50 years? 50 years. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Was that Grandpa? Oh, no, that was Dad. Everything she tells you is Can we start over? <laughs> no, you just ruined Go ahead. You just ruined the video, Uncle Anthony. Yeah, yeah Uncle Anthony. I'll take it water and an anniversary. <laughs> well, but please. <laughs> Like, like, so, so I don't it's know the same that our relationship is separated by a... Make Francis come here. This is, this is Francis. No. Okay. Now y'all have at least 50 more years. For Teresa. <laughs> Believe in you, and you are the most best grandparents in the world. <laughs> Just a second, let me think about a memory. Uh, I'll say that. <laughs> you want us to give advice? Be, don't worry, be happy. We have seven marriages between the three of us. We have no, no advice. Life is short, art is long. Just keep on singing your merry song. And not only that, if you didn't write, fix it. Get someone else, by God. But never ever pick your nose in public. Pick your friends. Can you see it? Yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's an extreme close-up. Oh. Love, yes, love, yes, love. 